Wear the Gown is sponsored by CHI St. Vincent. 514 on your Monday morning and there's a lot of worry that surrounds how people get infected with COVID-19 and some people who are at a greater risk of getting the virus are smokers and vapors. In this week's Wear the Gown, a pulmonologist at CHI St. Vincent explains why. Ashish Tinkotaker is a pulmonologist at CHI St. Vincent. Uh, you know, people often think that, well, if I don't smoke, I'm just vaping, it's not dangerous. That's certainly not true. He specializes in patients with lung problems and those with sleeping disorders, but it's the doctor who's having trouble sleeping because of the coronavirus. No, certainly. I mean, the data is scary. That new data shows smokers who get COVID-19 are twice as likely to end up in the ICU as compared to non-smokers. So that's a pretty high risk in my mind. It all comes down to the damage smoking does to our defense mechanism, the lining of our airway and of our lungs. Now, with smoking or vaping, that, that lining is disrupted. And it's a perfect setup for viruses, bugs, to, to, to have a point of entry, leading to chronic inflammation, acute inflammation. And then we see this sudden rise in, in COVID infections in patients who smoke. He says that knowledge has changed the way long-term smokers think. They're coming back to me saying, we know smoking is a risk, please help us. Do, do something, help us to, to get rid of this. And it's not just the older generation. You're not immune to COVID if you're young. That's, that's the bottom line. Young, healthy people are dying from this virus, especially those who smoke and vape. But you're telling me that a smoker is a high-risk category then? Absolutely. Smoking is essentially immunocompromised state in our, in our minds. So what can we do? The simple answer is just quit. Try to quit. Medications can help. Perhaps a patch or... More importantly in my mind, I think knowing your triggers, staying connected with your family and your doctor, getting the support that you, that you need. And get that support today because research shows even 14 days of not smoking helps you fight COVID because our defense mechanisms get restored. And we are nowhere near the end of this. We are going to see another peak or, or the main peak in September. Still a few months away, so plenty of time to quit smoking, quit vaping. The doctor tells his patients if you fail at quitting smoking, it's OK, because if you try again, the chances are much higher the second time around it'll work. And parents, he says, talk to your kids. You can re use your resources on the Department of Health website. There's also a CDC website. You can call the quit hotline if you'd like, or you can just talk to your doctor.